Back on the game. I'm really fucking defeated. I'm really pissed the fuck off right now. Those were, like, g gifts from God with how lucky we got in those races, so. Let's do Texas again. Hope maybe the same shit can happen where we have Stuart run, like, 20th. I don't know. I guess we'll find the fuck out. Car setup, same as usual. <sighs> Man, I... This, I just... I don't know. I mean, we, let's do this again. Let's see where where Stuart runs in this one. I mean, we weren't even really the fastest car in the last race. We just got lucky. So I, I don't know. Traditional awful start. Just give me a few moments and I'll try to do something. I guess. <laughs> Can the car turn? For the love of fucking God, man. Like, wh why can it not turn? Please don't. Fucking wreck. Jesus fucking Christ. Piss the fuck off. It's a hell of a run off turn two. Now I just gotta make turn three. Not hit the fucking apron. Another good run off turn two. Now we just gotta make turn three without the thing sliding up the track. Yeah, we did it. Kinda parked the bus a little bit in the corner, but it worked. Now we gotta set our sights on Stuart. Another really nice run through the corner. Almost absolutely annihilated Stuart there. I don't wanna do that. I wanna try to pass him cleanly. Yeah, our straightaway speed is just ridiculous. Kinda pushed him up the track, not because I wanted to, but the car just didn't want to turn. But anyways, through turn two. We might clear them, so let's just try to make turn three, and we, I like to clear them, this gives me a lot of anxiety with the apron there looming over me, can I clear them yet, no I can't, alright we're just gonna, oh, I don't even know if I led that lap, we're just gonna have a needlessly epic battle then, well that's cute, I like to clear them, that, what do you see that car want to spin out? Oh my god, that was terrifying. Alright. There we go. Can we finally clear them? It's been two laps in the making. No, no we can't. Alright, well we're just going to have an epic battle then. For, for the lead. That's... That. <laughs> god damn it, something's got to give. We're going to try to pin lap 9 just because I... Again, we the yellow came out last time, so... I guess that's a thing here in Texas. I don't know, but that's our plan. And this, I mean, this is insane. Like three laps at least being side by side. And he's, I still can't lead a, I mean, I, I don't know if I led a lap or not. Oh my, okay, finally. <laughs> finally, Stuart got the lead back. Somebody finally gave, and I guess it was apparently me. I wasn't really trying to make a pass on the outside, but I'll take it, I suppose. I'm just going to have it here in the corner so I can try to get to the bottom lead, even though I couldn't do that. But yeah, next lap, we're pitting. So that's my plan. Alrighty, we're pitting this lap. Please, Yaley, do not obliterate me getting down pit road. 70 miles an hour. Perfect. That was a little bit slow. Damn. Alright, four tires and we're out. That will be a 15-4, so... Perfect stop by the pit crew. Kyle Busch actually cycles out in front of us, which is shocking. But we're just going to try to stay uh, on the apron here. And they do kind of seem to have a slow exit speed, it seems like. Don't, don't fucking screw it up like that. I want to have a clean and green championship battle. It seemed like, for now... I mean, we got the spot on him. Now we just got to run down Kyle and Newman, I think, that's up there. No, that's Jimmy. <laughs> Never mind. That's Jimmy. That is Kyle and Jimmy up there. Fuck it, three wide. Let's just actually break for the corner a little bit. There we go. New leader. And... Man, let's pull away. Stewart's in fourth, so we're going to gain some points. Huh? It might be about 20, so... But now that we know that we can do well at Phoenix, I'm not nearly as scared... Of, of this race now, or at least of Phoenix, so that that's good. That flags out. 
all the way to an over three second lead. I don't know what changed in this run, but we're fast. So this is looking good for us. So we're still gonna win. In fact, I mean, it's, it's not gonna be as good as the first attempt. I think we're gonna gain maybe about 15 points on him because Stewart definitely led the most laps for sure. I think he's gonna finish fourth with his 10 bonus points. That's gonna put him about 170 points and we'll have about 185 I had to guess. So we'll have like a maybe 11 point lead at least I had to guess. So, oh, he got third, so never mind. It'll be a six point lead then. Oh, oh my god, we led the most laps. I did not honestly expect that to be sure. I, did. wow. So that's 190 points for us to Stuart's 170. So we do gain 20 points on him still, which is good for us. That actually gives us about a 16 point gap, I think, with the four we were back. So good for us. And yeah, that was when we did everything we need to in that race. We won. We led the most laps. We got the most bonus points. Just that Stuart didn't finish 22nd this time. We'll take a quick look at the points just to make sure where we're at. Okay, it is 16. Okay, 16 points. Perfect. And obviously in the trucks, we know we're 14 back, so... At least we know we can... Dude, this game is really scaring the shit out of me with how it's doing that weird stuttering and shit. Anyways, on to Phoenix. Um, I know we... I mean, we won here before, so I, I'm very confident we can do it again. We're three and four, just like the first time we did it. We're gonna start third. Bobby's actually on pole, so that is a bit of a concern. So, yeah, I don't know, just the <laughs> same, same kind of qualifying results as before. And that's a poll just like the first race. And that's 27-8, 27. Okay, Stuart's starting third, which is, I don't know if that's good or not. Car setup, same as usual with, uh, the, you know, the adjustments. Okay, I, that first run was so, we got so lucky. Like, we are never going to have that kind of luck again. But a good start, so hooray to us. Now, from what I saw in the first race, we just got to play very careful um, in turn one. Just kind of keep the truck on the bottom, no matter what, because the truck obviously has speed, as you can tell here. So we just kind of have to be careful. As, as I say that, we get sideways. But yeah, doing good there. And are we going to leave the first lap? No, we won't. Just gonna take it easy in turn one. And perfect. Bobby's slipping up the track, and we get the lead. Alright, we're good. Now we just gotta pull away. I'm pinning this lap. I don't want to run out of fuel like I did last time, so I'm hoping this doesn't screw with anything. 70, oh, 69. Perfect. Alright. <laughs> Great. Good job. Good job, pit crew. Just just run into each other like a bunch of freaking baboons. It's going to give us a 16 6 second stop. Darnell actually pieces out of pit road again, which is weird. I have no idea where Bobby's... Okay, wait, no, we're still first. Oh, <laughs> alright, he's just a lap down. Um, okay, oh, there's Bobby. <laughs> so, he's not going to have that weird luck like he did the last race. I finished like 20-something, so... Alright, well, we still got back in the lead, though, which is good for us. Off turn four, um, pretty solid race for us. We did everything we needed to to gain points. I think we're going to still gain maybe 15 points. We might have a one-point lead going in the homestead if that's how it's going to be. Also, Darnell, I think, finished last, so he's pretty much out of the championship hunt. Oh, he actually... we Did we, we actually led that lap earlier in the race? I thought for sure he did. I mean, it was early. All right, well, that's 20 points, so that's another... Uh, all right, well, we have a six-point lead instead of a, a one-point lead then. All right. I thought for sure he led lap one, though. I, th I, I thought for sure he did. All right, well, that's good for us, I guess, so. Yeah, we're going to need every point we can going on the home set, though. That's the only thing. Is it's, We're going to need it. We're going to need all the help. I usually don't do this when I record, but apparently maybe Phoenix is a track that the game freezes up on. I don't know. I'm going to save it mid-recording. I usually don't like to do that only because just in case the recording goes wrong, I can always just, you know, go back and redo it just to 
you know have the you know normal file normal version of it but i gotta i gotta play it safe and i'm kind of in a lose-lose situation if if something were to go wrong so yeah but we know in the bush race at phoenix we can win we we're we were doing that beforehand, so it should be very possible to do it again and build up a nicer point gap over Stewart. So 16 points is the gap at the moment in the Bush Series, and we have a 6-point lead over Bobby Hamilton. So, yeah, Darnell, as we saw, obviously out of the championship hunt, mathematically eliminated. So, yeah. Anyways, we'll jump in the Bush Race, win that, try to kind of move through this as quick as we can now because I've been recording for like an hour. I don't know why I put my headset on. I don't... I'm, I'm not going to do that. It's going to be full-on sweat mode, obviously, in the race. we In qualifying, we had a full round up, and then in the race, we're going to lower it just because it is going to get looser as the run goes on. Let's hope this just goes green. We have no chance of the game doing weird shit, so that's that's the goal and all that stuff. So just gonna get, uh, get through the gears well. Actually, with how slow we go in the corner here, it actually takes us a little bit to get to fourth, if you ever noticed that. So that's a... Interesting fun fact, I mean, it actually shipped off turn turn one, so, or turn two, so. Yay, in the lead. Now we'll just try to build up a gap, like we did before. You know, if the car can turn a little bit, that would be really nice. I know that may be a foreign concept to this car, but that would be really good if it could just turn. We're pitting this lap. And again, the car is getting really stupid loose as the run has gone on. We built up over like a two second gap over, I think it was Kurt Busch, I'm not sure. But yeah, just a standard four tire stop and out and away. That will be a 15 five second stop. Perfect from, I mean, not perfect, but pretty damn good. And we should cycle back out to lead us because I see Kurt Busch in my mirror. And that might be Stuart that's passing Kurt as he might have pitted a lap earlier. So, I don't know. And we get back into the lead. We're going to be passing a lap car here. So, I don't know where Stewart's at. He might be second. I'm not sure. So, all we can do now is just pull away and hope he gets passed. I was looking at my computer to make sure everything was okay and... We hit the wall, and that's where the, ca uh, the damage came from. So there's the lore behind that. Pure domination station type of race. We, again, we did everything we needed to to get max points. So that's great. I think Stuart's going to end up getting second. So I don't know what the point gap's going to be. Maybe it might, might be about 31, I think. Yeah, he got second. So yeah, I think it's going to be about 31 points ahead of him if I had to guess. We'll look at the, the results. I don't know if he let any laps. No, we didn't. Okay, that's even better. So we gained 20 points instead. So that means now we have a... A decent point lead. I think it's 34, I believe. I'm not sure. I guess we'll have to look at the menu to find out. Take a look at the point standings. And, okay, it is 36 back, so... I don't know how many points we need or where we need to finish. My computer's freaking the fuck out. Can anything go right for me today? And now the footage is probably going to be fucked up. Why? I <laughs> think can go right for me today. Now we got truck qualifying. We have a six-point gap to Bobby. I'm, I'm fucking terrified for the truck race because from what I did in practice, it was just like NASCAR 5. We're, we're going to struggle. This We might lose the championship just based on all this shit, which is fucking ridiculous. Why is the cup race for Homestead on Friday? What? That doesn't make any fucking sense. Why is the bush race on Saturday but after the cup race? What? What? I just noticed that. Through three and four. Our first lap we got fourth. I don't know if this is going to be a poll. It's... I, wow. <laughs> I'm kind of shocked with that, to be honest. All right, well, that's promising, but... Nothing's guaranteed. At least, Bo okay, Bobby's third, so he's gonna be stuck behind me on the start. So he's gonna, he's gonna fall back with me <laughs> through the field. That's a pull on the first lap. That's a 32 to oh my god, 32 four. I don't know if that's, I don't know if I should believe that or, or that's just a mistake on the game. I don't know, but anyways, on to the truck race. Car setup, uh, same adjustments as usual. I just lowered the wedge. 
So it should help us a little bit, but we can only hope. It's a six point difference, though. I mean, we be, I mean, if we're in the top five, if me and Hamilton are in the top five, I mean, we're gonna have to. I have to finish a spot in front of him. I, he cannot be two spots in, in front of me. Like I have a one position buffer on him. So he's gonna try to pray for a miracle. I guess I don't know. Turns one and two is not too bad, but three and four, for whatever reason, the truck is really tight, so. Just gonna try to park the bus here in the corner as much as I can. Just kind of hold the bottom lane as much as I can do, you know, handle. Can we get a bonus point? No, we can't. But the good thing is Bobby's kind of stuck on the high side, so it should be good. Oh boy, it just doesn't turn. And the, the, the most unnerving thing is that I know the truck is gonna get looser as the run goes on, so I don't know what to really I don't know what to do to adjust that. Also Bill Esther's really kinda just kinda you know being a cheeky bastard blocking me there. I, I see you. Please don't arrow push me into oblivion. That didn't really happen. Alright, I guess we'll just maintain second for a bit. Or we can get a good run, holy good god. Alright, let's let's back it down a little bit. Alright, good enough. And this is, it's looking promising, but I don't know what the AI are going to do. I'm going to try to pit on lap six and just hope to God that EL doesn't come out and mess with the championship battle. Because I don't know if it will or not. That was a bad idea, because now that's going to give Bobby the... Did, they, did I just do an apron glitch at Homestead? I didn't even know that was a thing. In the 15 years I played this game, I never knew there was an... Okay, it's way on the grass, so I guess that's manageable to get around. All right, fine, we'll just pit. <sighs> Jesus Christ. I, I shouldn't have even bothered going to the outside because I knew Bill was going to block and then Bobby was going to take the lead. He was about to, so that caution kind of saved us. It's just... Ugh. The crew needs to do a clutch stop here. That will be a 15-4. We had to wait for... What the f... <laughs> Alright, well, I don't know how we got first out of pit road with all that going wrong, but I'll take it. And it put me in third gear. And where is Bobby Hamilton? Not in second. So, I think we might have led a lap through the cautions. I'm not sure. I would like to lead it under green just to be extra safe. But yeah, that kind of, that kind of, that actually was a good thing because Bobby's nowhere in the top five. It looks like from looking at my mirror. So, um, that's looking good for us. I just wish it went green. I, I that's the one thing I kind of hate because that was that looked like it was gonna be. Well, then again, when we went through pit road, I was gonna uh, cheese it down pit road. Uh, without going through the access road, because I, I for whatever reason, the AI, the AI can just kind of go through there at superhuman speed, and I can't, so I'm always going to lose time, so I always try to cut that to mitigate those problems. And when I, I was going to leave pit road normally, just to kind of show you that, but I, mean, I guess I'll have to do that in the bush race, apparently. But for now, we do lead a lap, so that's good for us, and right now we're going to, we're looking good for the championship. I don't know what the hell that corner was, but... <laughs> don't you fucking arrow push me. I don't know why the fuck the game does that sometimes, but... I fucking hate it. I don't know what the hell, hell I did there, but... It's okay, we don't need to, we don't need to win the race. If anything, the truck has insane straightaway speed, as you saw... When I was you know, catching Bill Lester and such, and we even got that here. I just want to make sure I don't have a truck to the outside of me like that, so I don't just obliterate them. Man, the thing is just skating up the track. Even when we do that, we still gain time or uh, gain spots or ground. White flags out. I didn't even notice that. But we're just gonna have to take it easy here in the corner. Again, I'm not too worried about winning. I just wanna get through these corners clean and green. I think I have no idea where Bobby's at still. He might be in the top five, I think. But yeah, through three and four, just gotta have a clean corner. Kind of park the bus a little bit too much, but don't matter. Don't matter. Sign up the track. 
but we're gonna do it. We're gonna come in clutch at Homestead. Holy shit, we did it. Duh. I can't believe that. Bobby got fifth. That was that was still intense. Good God. Alrighty, well we did it. I think no, I don't think Bobby led any laps too, so. Yeah, that I don't know if we I didn't even know if we led the most laps. No, we did. That's 192, Bobby's 155. But holy shit. I wish it went green, though. That's the only thing I'm gonna regret. I just wish it went green. God damn it. But we do it, we win the title. I don't know how we must must have missed like at least four or five truck races, I think. <laughs> Alright, wait, hold on. We gotta see if our driver one of our drivers does the, the weird Oh now there he goes. There he is again. That's that alright, that, that's all I wanted to look at. He my driver almost ran to the truck too. Also, why was Bobby Hamilton not fat there? He looked very thin. Oh, that's fucked up because he may have been thin when the game came out with his cancer. I'm upset now. Hey, way to go, man. You've got a championship under your belt. I knew you had it in you. Now all that's left to do is to give Ace the credit that he deserves. Thank you, Ace, for that. So, now on to the Bush race. So we do have a 30-point lead. We have a bit more of a cushion there. And in the trucks, we ended up having a 41-point buffer to Bobby. I would just wish it went green. I just don't know where it would have been had that went green. I think we would have gained. I think we still would have won. But I, maybe Bobby would have finished second. I don't know. But I, that, I just that pissed. I mean, it benefited me with the yellow. But I always just like to have things go green. But anyways, on the Bush series, we just have to not have a colossal disaster, and we should be fine. So starting first, Stewart is second. And all right, that's our adjustments. Now, I got to keep in mind with the Bush race, it's the cars are, they are a lot faster. You need to slow up a lot more in the corners compared to the truck series. So, got to keep that in mind. Also, we have a horrendous start, which is not really, you know, surprising. Kurt, you're going to have to kind of fall back with me here. So, just like the truck race, we're going to try to pit on lap, like a lap after the halfway point. So, around lap nine for us here. A good start. You know, we got through the. I mean, I mean, we eventually, you know, got back up to where we were running or close to it. And to the inside of Stewart for the lead. Don't choke it, JJ Jelly. You better JJ the fuck off. And yay, we lead a lap. Now let's try to pull away if we can. I'm pitting this lap with the big lead we have. I'm gonna show you what happens when I try to take the access road. The car wanted to spin out there, but. It's just, yeah, see, it just wants to spin out. It just, it just doesn't like to go through there, so that's why I never take it. It's just, it's fucking stupid. We're going to pit. It's not going to change anything in the race. We were pulling away, but that's, I mean, I had a five-second lead. I was trying to take it easy, and the game just doesn't, it's fucking stupid. I don't. I just don't get it. Like that. This is why you don't make the apron stupid, slippery, and all this other bullshit. Because it, why? What? What purpose does that serve? That's a 16-6. So horrible stop. And Geely's gonna beat me out of pit road. And I guess Kyle Busch did too. Yeah, he did. And we have one car that's up there at the front that I think was out or pitted before the yellow, or pitted during the yellow came out, or wasn't lapped down. I don't know, but. And like usual, we have a horrible start, so give me a, give me like a lap and we'll catch them back, I guess. I have to even take a lap. Goodbye, Kyle Busch. Yaley takes the lead. And I just gotta get through turn one. Car, car, don't, don't do this wiggly, jiggly bullshit. I'm not in the mood. I'm not in the mood, car, for that shit. Stop. Stop. Christ. Alright, well, I mean, we're almost there to the lead. Now we just gotta clear them. And we do. Now we just gotta pull away again. My flag's out. Thank the good lord. The game tried really hard to, to screw me with the championship battle. But thankfully here it looks like it's gonna end. And we pulled away to a nice gap. I didn't, it's just crazy to think that just, you know, tire pressures and a wedge adjustment's gonna 
make the card that that much faster than the whole field. But yeah, we kind of came in clutch right at the end of the season. We did everything we needed to today, and we'll we'll win two series. Suck it, team. <laughs> Finally, ugh. I, like three parts ago, I was not sure if I was going to be able to win it, and then here we are, and we did it. We won both the series, and that's another 20 points, so now that puts our gap to about 54, I think, or 64. I'm not sure what it is, but... <sighs> All right, beautiful. Now we can move on to the Cup Series. 100 hour, hour and 40 minutes of recording later, a game crash later. And we're here in victory lane. And we win the title. And I didn't even... I hit I hit X because I thought it would transition to the next thing, not to the loading screen. Wow. God damn it. With the season over, we get a, uh, 41 points over Bobby Hamilton and 56 over Stewart. JG Daly third. Jimmy's fourth. Kirk fifth. Harvick sixth. Biffle. Aaron Crocker eighth. And Mayfield, act, damn, Jerry Mayfield with top 10. Nice. Boris 11th, but yeah, we got a lot of, some of these I don't even know if ran, like, ran the whole schedule. So I don't know how legitimate th these are, but yeah. And in the cup, Jimmy tryharding it up again with 100 points over Bivol and Newman. And yeah, so. Surprise Vickers beat Kyle Busch in the standings. That's surreal, but. All right, well, we'll continue on. No retirements. Perfect. We're going to be racing with Mark Martin in the Cup Series next year. Hooray, even if it's with a shitty team. <laughs> Eight new phone calls. Good God. That's a lot of contract offers. But, yeah, we'll uh, archive all these, and then we'll look at our Cup contracts and go from there. All righty. Well, let's see what offers they gave us. I mean, they gave me nothing throughout the whole season. So I'm hoping here they'll give me something. You kidding me? It's still the same three. Oh my god. Well, I guess we're just destined to have a horrible season in the Cup season series, and then we'll get a better ride. Well, that really fucking sucks. Wow. We got the 180 All-State Dodge. Um, it seems like the best one to be Team Marmalade, but we've, we've been through this before in the truck series. Yeah, tr yeah, truck series. It didn't work out well. I think for these, we might just have to go all out on a custom setup through like through and throughout just to be somewhat competitive. I think that's just what we're going to have to do. I don't think I can get away with just using just tire pressures and a wedge adjustment for these. So, I don't know. It might be doable. I don't know. I, I, I think either one's just not going to be a good pick. So... The only one that looks promising is the Marmalade one just because the team prestige and team chemistry is a little bit better than Fear Furugo performance, so I might just go with that. I mean, that's just, that makes sense to me. So, and it's the 105 car, oh no. I remember that NASCAR 5. <laughs> Alright, well, that's like the best one, like all around it looks like, so. I hope I, I hope I don't regret this. I probably will. Well, this might be a wasted season here with how this might play out, so you never know. Oh, boy. All right, well. That was, ugh, I don't know. I hope it works out. But finally, we can wrap this part up. Big shout out to my two or three Patreon supporters at Dan Rollins, Weather Bros, Kamikaze Games, Ryan Lazar, and Dave Hunter Champ 15, Ask Numbers Like Dot Word, Billy Carrier, Jonathan Carden, Golf Kid 100, Denny Hammer, Ultimate Fan, Emilio Bebzer, and Mark Harmer for a donation again. I can't thank you guys enough for your contribution and support to the channel every single month like this. It does me a lot, and I'm always just really thankful for what you guys do. It's just, it means a lot. I'm always just really thankful for it, and I'm just always really appreciated for it. And you guys are really freaking awesome. I'll see you all next part for the 2009. Uh, cup season. Uh, how will it go? I have no idea. <laughs> but we got the duels, so that might help us. And, well, then again, it might not really matter because well, that's qualifying. But, uh, I mean, we may not even have to worry about the duels because we might start first, which is how it usually kind of seems to play out at Daytona, so who knows. But Either way, tune in for next episode whenever that 
comes out. I have no idea if I'm going to do a break or what. I, I don't know. Obviously, I want to say a break, but that's only because I've been recording for so long, and I just scare. I'm fearful of the thought of recording more of this game. Maybe I, I, I don't know. Future me will have to figure that out. But either way, that'll do it for me in this episode. I will see you all later. And as always, have a good day, everyone.